One of the most popular Fortnite skins has been removed from the item shop, and we have some information about some upcoming perks and our first look at Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. I've put together 20 of the most important Fortnite leaks that you guys need to know. And first, let's start with the power guitar. So we actually have footage of this item now. We talked about it in a video a while back, and it's a guitar that you can play, and it does damage to the environment around you. This is kind of like a portable boombox if you're an OG and remember how that item worked. But here's the thing. To use this to the maximum efficiency, you actually have to play the beat at the right time. Will this actually be useful or is it just gonna be a meme item? I'm not sure, but we did see this item in the trailer for chapter four, but everybody thought it was a back bling. So next up, these aren't the Fortnite skins that got removed, but these guys are probably never coming back. That's right. The Rick and Morty skins have been removed from the item shop circulation. If you guys do not know, there's been a huge controversy with the creator of Rick and Morty, and it's some pretty bad stuff. Fortnite does not want to be involved in that drama or that controversy, so they remove those skins from coming back from the shop. Speaking of someone we haven't seen for a while, Midas is getting his own perk, the Midas Touch, and this one has been leaked and should be coming sometime this season. You get 40 assault rifle ammo and gold every time you get an elimination, and this is a perk that you might want to reroll for. Now, before I get to the next perk, I need to talk about Midas, okay? Epic has teased him so many times throughout the years and he has not come back. And just recently in the Kid Leroy concert, he was spotted in the concert. He was there, he was dancing to Kid Leroy. What is he doing? Get back to the storyline. I don't know if we'll ever see him, but we will be seeing a new perk coming to the game soon. This one is called Deft Hands. And what this one does is it actually reloads the weapons that are in your inventory even if you don't have them equipped. This is gonna be kind of low-key, very useful, but it makes me think about the rushing reload perk for the shotgun. That one's gonna be completely useless when this one comes out. There's a lot more perks that have been leaked, but let's talk about new POIs. There's a gym POI that was found in the game files. And you know me as somebody who likes to go to the gym, it might be my new drop spot. Another POI that has been leaked in the game files is actually called Throne Rome. And people initially thought that this was just a misspelling. Did they mean Throne Room? Is this just supposed to be a small building? No, this is like Throne Rome as in the capital of Italy. So this current season has the medieval vibes with the kings and castles and the knights and armor. So maybe in season two, we get a different kind of ancient vibe with the rise of the Roman civilization, or maybe it's like some ancient Egypt POIs. I'm not entirely sure I could be off on this one, but we'll have to see. But something I am sure about is that we are getting a spring event sometime in March or April. So it's actually just called the spring event and there's gonna be a lot that's coming to the game. We have egg launchers that will return. There's gonna be brand new rift encounters and there's egg chickens. And I'm not sure what that one means. Maybe the chickens on the map right now will lay Easter eggs that give you special effects like speed or low gravity. Uh, that kind of sounds cool, but the last couple of events weren't that great. So I'm hoping for a good spring event and something Epic hasn't done in a while is a really good April Fool's update. The OGs remember the old school pranks that Epic pulled on us. They haven't done it in a couple of years now. So hopefully that will return as well. Something that is returning for like the 10th time is a Darth Vader and his mythic lightsaber, which is probably one of the worst mythics in the game. But for May the 4th, he will be returning, which is Star Wars days. If you're excited about that, Hooray, I'm personally indifferent. So let's move on to the next one, the Firefly Launcher. Okay, we actually have gameplay footage of this one. It's gonna be basically the game's flamethrower. I do wonder if this one's gonna be good or not. I ho I'm hoping it is uh, because lately they have been killing it with the new items. Every new item and perk has been pretty useful. So hopefully they stick to that trend. Speaking of items that are really useful, that people really like, Spider-Man Mythics actually got updated in the game files. So. There was a new Web Slinger accolade that got added, which means they will be returning. Now, the question is, will they return with Miles Morales? He's been teased a bunch of times in the game files and has been heavily requested. I think it's finally time. Now, this next one could be for an LTM Epic's working on, or it could be a new feature that they're trying to bring. It's called Most Wanted. There's these posters that got added to the game files that kind of correlate. It has a mysterious Golden Serpent logo on them. And there's actually ways for you to pay gold 
to lower your most wanted level now could this be a part of like a themed week like what they did with the dragon ball where they replace all the bounty boards with the dual mode or is it just going to be a new feature that they incorporate into br i hope that's the case actually because this does sound like a cool feature so this was actually announced today and Epic Games is actually working with Tifu to bring to life a $100,000 zero build squad tournament called Tifu Tuesdays. And this is actually fully sponsored by Epic Games, which means maybe there's a chance for a Tifu icon skin in the future. I'm just saying. Speaking of competitive Fortnite, FNCS season one is returning and there's some drops where you can earn a back bling, an emoticon, a loading screen, and a spray. Super easy to get, just watch on Twitch or YouTube and you can get it for free. Now that's a huge W from Epic, but they also kind of messed up recently with the Kid Leroy emote. The one where he's kind of floating like SpongeBob in that one episode. Uh, people are doing some very sus things with this emo. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I don't know if they're going to have to change this emo. I hope not, but you guys, you guys need to behave. And speaking of mistakes, Sarah Connor recently had her whole face reformed on Fortnite. She looks completely crazy. She kind of looks like the cart Titan. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And Epic also recently disabled the wind currents that are in the ice area. You can kind of fly around with them, but now they are off and I'm not sure why. And another small mistake Epic made was they actually gave us our first real look at first person mode. There was actually a bug where you can turn on first person mode and save the world. And then when you went back to Battle Royale, you got to see a work in progress first person mode for Fortnite Battle Royale. And a lot of the weapons had first person mode enabled when you ADS. And it honestly looks really cool. And it's, it has me really excited. And if I had to guess, we're probably going to get first person mode in chapter four, season two. Now for our favorite segment of these videos, what is Donnie cooking? First things first, he recently changed his Twitter bio to the frozen place. And he changed his banner to a frozen looking place. Elsa from Frozen, I don't So we don't know what he's cooking, but he did give us some other stuff. So he did have a lot of other tricks lined up for us for the Fortnite story this week. We got a new mysterious loading screen called Amy 1.0. Remember the AI assistant lady that was talking to us at the end of the chapter? Well, she started building herself a new body with the AIM skin, which is a mysterious secret battle pass skin from way back in chapter one. I see you, Donnie. So he gave us some more story stuff about the Rift Gate and the Rift Warden character, and I'll make a video on more Cypher PK really breaking all the details down. Now, finally, for the skin epic removed. In the last update, we got a ton of new changes, but they made a mistake and they broke a ton of the skins in the game. Any skin that was wearing a hat or a helmet was kind of bugged. The hats and helmets were showing up sideways. It was really weird and creepy. So Epic decided to just remove all of them from the item shop, every single one, including the Lava Legends pack. It just straight up got removed and you were not able to purchase it anymore. Now, fortunately, Epic did fix the issue, but they're still not back in the shop. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.